For this video, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at 10 cool apps that you should download for your series Apple Watch. Now, as long as your watch is running the latest watch OS, watch OS 5 or greater, you should be perfectly fine. Now, these latest Apple Watch, especially if you have the Series 4, it's already integrated with a lot of very useful applications. But in this video, there are some apps that I found on the App Store that just deserve some credit to be better known. And I make sure to fully test out these apps, use them on a daily basis, so I could fully recommend them to you guys. So let's go ahead and get started. This first app I wanna go ahead and cover, it's called Speedometer. And it's perfect for bicyclists, cyclists, or if you're somebody who's just curious on how fast your Uber driver is taking you. With this app, it takes little to no effort to fully load the application for you to read your speed that you're currently going. And you can also change this to kilometers. I was playing with this app to see how accurate it is to my vehicle speedometer and surprisingly it's pretty accurate although there was like a two three second delay for the reading to fully read but it was definitely updating even when de-accelerating and that's basically all it could do it does keep track of your highest speed so if you're going down the hill like on a scooter or a bicycle and you just want to see how fast you're going this will actually let you know so when you stop you'll see how quick you gone it's pretty cool it's a free app and then, like I said, it takes little to no time to launch. So you're always able to have that information all off your wrist. This next app I wanna cover for number two, it's called Sleep Cycle. If you're one of those few people that have a hard time waking up even after your alarm clock is ringing, with Sleep Cycle, it actually, if you sleep with your Apple Watch, the Apple Watch will actually start vibrating and start playing sound to help you get up a lot easier. You can actually set a timer to repeat either weekly or daily depending on your schedule and a quick thing to note this app is although it's free to download there is a premium version which all it does is just keeps track of your like habits how long you went to bed for your uh, wake up time and all that other information if you're interested in that you could get the premium version but the free version itself is perfectly fine if you just need the extra help when it comes to getting out of bed now for our number three is called Gymaholic. Now what separates this one from other fitness apps is that this one actually gives you animations to show you how to do this workout with proper form. Other ones require you to go back to your phone or something to view this information. With this app, it has everything like this integrated in fine detail on the Apple Watch where you don't have to carry your phone around. You can actually leave your phone in a locker. Now, though this app is free to download, it isn't fully free. If you want more workouts, you are gonna be required to get the monthly subscription. But if you're somebody who just needs a motivator, a fitness coach, or just starting to get into training, this app is a great starter because I went through all these workouts and these three day plans that it already has is enough to target all the main muscle groups. And I feel it's excellent for any beginners to understand form a lot quicker and easily grow some strength as these three day workouts can be easily repeated throughout the entire week. And then once you feel like you want more, you could just easily subscribe to their monthly plans. So if you need that extra kick, definitely do check out this app. And I also like how it actually keeps track of your reps. Although to be honest, it's not perfect but you can actually skip through this and start the rest timer once you finish your reps. That's one of the reasons why I really do like this app because it actually gives you a rest timer. So you know when you should go back and doing the next set. Another app I wanna quickly talk about is Simple Commands. What Simple Command does, if you have smart home stuff like smart home lights, thermostats, even Sonos, this app allows you to control all that. Now the only downside to this app, if you're like me who has like Amazon third party, RGB light bulbs, chances are it's not going to be fully supportive as their supported devices are pretty limited. But if you have like the mainstream brands like the Philips Hue, even Sonos, you control all this all off this little app, all from your wrist without needing to use your phone or use a smart home voice assistant. So if you have like a smart thermostats or other smart devices, definitely do check out this app as it is free and allows to control everything off your wrist. Now for the fifth app I want to go ahead and talk about and share with you guys is called Night Sky. And what Night Sky is, is basically good for anybody who wants to look at the stars and see what each star symbolizes. But besides this, this is actually a unique way to give your Apple Watch a compass. And the way this app works is if you know the direction the moon is, you could then tap it on the watch and now you know where north and south and east west are located. 
and as you can see it's fairly accurate and it does rotate pretty smoothly and if you take a closer look at the compass you can actually see the little planets that's facing there and all the other planets around the atmosphere are facing with that little compass now back to the fitness side of thing check out six pack with summer now coming around the corner pretty soon if you're looking for a companion app that will motivate you even more to build that stronger core definitely check out this app now the reason why i'm recommending this one similar to like the gymaholic this app actually gives you a the workout animation for you to view all off your wrist but the only thing is though this app does require for you to have your phone nearby as it uses your phone speaker to let you know when to start your workout and then on the apple watch itself it will actually give you the animation of the full workout but just like Gymaholic, there is a fee option. It's a one-time fee that unlocks everything. But I think that this app is perfect, especially for beginners who just want to start out on working out their core. And then later on, once you feel more advanced, you can just purchase the full version. I think this app is really great for anybody who doesn't have a full access to a full gym and just want to do a quick, but also result giving workouts for your core all at home. So definitely check out this app. Now for our next one is another fitness related app. It's called Cardiogram. And what I really like about Cardiogram, unlike the health app that we have on our phone, when you launch the app on the Apple Watch, it will actually give you a detail throughout the entire day on what heart rate was your heart beating at. Because on the Apple Watch itself, it does monitor this automatically, but every like five minutes or so, Cardiogram actually allows you to manually hit start. So it will begin tracking during every single second until you hit start. So if you wish to see a more accurate reading of your heart rate throughout the entire day, this app will do it for you. And if you open up the app, the companion app on the iPhone, it actually organizes everything automatically like activities. If you've been walking for a long time, it will show you right away all the steps you did, your average heart rate and your max peak heart rate. It also shows you the different exercises you did all in order during the time and day, even from previous workouts as well. And it also gives you the smallest metric details too on how long you've been standing, how many calories you burn while moving and all the other nitty gritty stuff. So if you need an easier app to track all these things, definitely do check out Cardiogram. Now for number eight, before I talk about this app, if you haven't watched already, if you've been curious on how to get Instagram or even Facebook to work on your Apple Watch for free, definitely do check out this video. Now in that video, all those social media platform works and all, but the only platform that wasn't working or fully supportive to do that method was Twitter. But there is this free app called Chirp that allows you to check out your Twitter feed all off your wrist. So if you always wanted a way to check out your Twitter feed all off the Apple Watch, definitely do check out Chirp. Another social media platform that may interest other people for number ninth, check out Nano. Nano is a great companion app if you're somebody who loves to always be on Reddit. This allows you to check on your Reddit feeds, your subscription, and see what's going on. You can also upvote or downvote. Anything you'd like to get done on Reddit, you can simply do all that off this watch, besides posting, of course. Now for our final one is ETA. Now, unfortunately, this one is the only app that isn't you do need to pay a one-time purchase of $2.99. Now, how I personally like this app is that it gives you an estimate time. We could say, for example, you're at your job, you're working, and you wanna find the best time to go ahead and take your lunch without facing any traffic. With ETA, the app launches really quick and it gives you a time and could also inform you on traffic conditions. If it's yellow, it means there's a bit of traffic. If it's green, it's just a clear road and everything is good. So if you're somebody who's highly commuting, constantly going to school, work, or you just want to find the fastest, quickest route, definitely do check out this ETA app as I think it's a lot quicker than going on your phone and going on Google Maps. Now, as I promised, there's a bonus. Uh, if you want a cool and quicker way to actually check the battery life percentage on your cell phone, for example, let's say you leave it charging at a totally different room, but you also like to be notified whenever your phone is 100% charged or vice versa with the Apple Watch, check out Battery Phone. Battery Phone allows you to check the battery life percentage on your phone as well as the Apple Watch all in the single app on the Apple Watch. And you can also do the same thing vice versa on the iPhone app itself. 
Now, as I mentioned, this app is really cool because it actually sends push notifications to both devices as soon as one is fully charged. So you don't have to play that guessing game, checking every 20 or 10 minutes or so to see if your phone is now charged. So other than that, it's a simple, basic app. It's free to download and it has been working really well on my end. But other than that, that was 11 total of 11 apps that I will definitely recommend for anybody to go ahead and download and try out. Now, there were some apps that does require a monthly service fee, but all the apps that I featured here all have a free version. You just simply hit the little X on top of the corner or hit skip this. Anyways, before you click off this video, do also check out this video up here if you haven't yet. I cover some very useful apps that I still use today. And also check out this video if you want to find some very fun games for your Apple Watch. But that's going to be it for this video. If you want to see more, remember, like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.